In this tutorial, we'll learn how to uh, prepare a cut and fill map for a parcel using DEM data. In your Lab 7 data folder, look for a GIS casino site shapefile and open it and zoom to this, uh, uh, file, this uh, polygon. So suppose this is the area, and let me turn off the DEM map. This is the area where uh, we would like to uh, develop a casino. And if you look at the parcel data in your world imagery, you would see that it's, uh, an, uh, un it's, it's an, uh, a natural piece of land. It's not developed. And possibly it has some kind of grade on it which, needs, which may need to be leveled. So you're asked to find out how much cut and fill is needed for a certain elevation. Suppose you are supposed to bring it to a certain level uh, for development. So first of all, open your DEM image and cut your DEM for this polygon. Now remember you will use the uh, extraction tool, so just search for um, extract and this will bring up your extraction tool and extract um, extract your raster image for this polygon. So extract by mask is what you will use and in this use your image uh, as the DEM UTM image and for the uh, mask use GS Casino site. So if you do everything correctly you should get your uh, DEM extracted. Now you can remove the uh, the original DEM data. So this is the grade. You should go ahead and create contours and so this is how the contours look like and clearly we have a grade going this way and this is what the parcel slopes look like and you can see that there's some steepness here and then right here becomes a little bit more steep and you can see that from the spacing between the contour lines now we need to level this so we need to determine where should we cut and where should we fill and before we do that we need to create a raster image that provide us with the desired level so um, go ahead and turn off slope, slope and parcels and start what we call raster calculator search for raster calculator and start the raster calculator and in this one uh, compute a new image from parcel DEM and multiply it with zero and add 695 to it. So this will create a new uh, uh, raster data and call it um, develop desired level. And call it desired level and create it. So this will create a raster image with all values set to 695. So this is how it would look like. So we have the parcel uh, map or the parcel DEM and then the desired DEM on top of it. Now you can run the cut and fill program to find out how much needs to be cut and how much needs to be filled. Now, remind you, we are trying to bring the level of this parcel to 695 meters. So in your uh, arc toolbox, look for uh, cut and fill in surface tools and start it. In this case, your input before is the DEM of the parcel uh, that you created earlier, and the out the the uh, the after is the desired level where we want to go, and this could be a graded level. And create give it an output name. Let's call it cut fill map, and uh, save it. If you have done everything correctly, you will uh, get this cut fill map where you will see three uh, colors. Net gain, this is where you have to add. Unchanged, there is no unchanged here. That's where you don't have to cut anything. And net loss, that's where you have to cut. Now, if you look at the attributes of this, 
you will see that it provides how much volume for the uh, the the red area needs to be given, which are zero values, and then how much will be cut from the blue areas. If you add these two numbers, you will find what is the net export or import. Now, export is if after leveling there is still some ex excess leftover soil that you need to remove. An import is if this number comes out to be a negative number, that means even if you uh, cut and fill, you still need to bring more soil to bring it to a 695 uh, meters height. So this is how you can perform uh, cut and fill and find out which parts of the, the parcel needs to be cut and which ne would be filled uh, using the DEM data.